My documentary work tends to focus on what you might call cultural retrieval. These are topics that are in danger of sliding off the cultural table and, and therefore be lost to history. So we found a real kindred spirit in Vince Giordano. For the last 40 years, he and his band, the Nighthawks, have been keeping hot jazz alive, jazz from the 20s and 30s. And it's a buoyant, um, optimistic kind of music which helped at least a couple of generations through some pretty tough times and I think this is the kind of music that needs a wider audience now and is right for these times. As filmmakers and teachers we're really artist practitioners so if we don't go out and make films, if we don't use the equipment, if we don't get our stories out in front of people, if we don't make movies, we can't teach movies. So it's really important to me, it's important to my colleagues in the MCA department that we are out there making films, expressing ourselves, and then we have something to pass along to our students. I'm often asked if I have any advice for students who want to major in documentary filmmaking, and my best piece of advice, I think, is really you need to be passionate about your topics. You're going to stick with these ideas for sometimes years before they come to fruition, so be sure that you're dedicated to that idea and that you're passionate about that idea. And the other thing is don't be too hung up with the toys. There's a lot of technical equipment out there which is very seductive and the most important thing is story. Yes, you have to be technically com competent, but you have to have a good story and you have to be willing to stick with it. If I had to distill my feelings about City College into a phrase, I probably would go with Tradition, dedication, activism.